<laughs> Say, you know, he was just, he was, he was just taking us to a two minute warning. JC with another pop up. Now, we've seen JC. JC has gone to the finals before. He's actually gone and faced off against Snoop Dogg and hasn't had enough to get it done. Oh, there's a big break free. Oh, oh. That's it. Bo yeah. That's it. You're going downfield. You're gaining lots of yards. I mean. You know, and again, Young Sag does not have any timeouts. He used his timeouts. Yeah, you have no way to stop the clock. So what, what can you do at this point? I have no idea what he used the timeouts for. You can for. pray. That's about it. You can yeah. pray. You can pray for fumble. Dog got a fumble against Sean earlier. It's possible. You know, Dog can waste as much time as he wants here. Going to the outside, cuts back on the inside. Flag on the play. That's a hole. That's a hole by the receiver on the outside. You know, we was don't it? often see that. Or was it face mask? It was on the Steelers. Oh, never mind. It's on the defense. Free first down here. So, first and 10 situation. Dog up 13 7. What the heck? What kind of hold was that? Get in there, boys! Let's go! JC feeling it once again. Yeah, he is. Bo knows, goes to the outside, but the clock's kind of tick, tick, tick here. And it looks like another win. Here for. Yeah, he did. Right, so this game looks dusty. Let's let's check in with the uh, the game real quick. Well, I don't know if we want to check in on that game. JC just took a commanding twenty to six lead over Waniac. It was looking so good early on, but JC just wanted to get back to that final dance. Mm. Well, it looks like just one more run play is going to close this one out here. 40-second play clock, 50 seconds left, one play. That's going to be the game. One plus one is two, Dion. One plus one is two. Here we go. There's the uh, kneel. And that's going to be Dog back in the finals. No Dog's going to run this clock all the way down. We'll probably see a knee here. Get it, man! Ladies and gentlemen, with that, we can safely say Elroy, Denard, Jetson. Oh, going to take a field goal here? Does he have just, to? Just to add a little insult to injury. Just to, just to do it. Does he have to? Yeah, I guess he does. <laughs> just, to, just to do it. Just to... Just to add those extra three points on the board, you said, hey, just, just to make sure that you were, uh, there's no version of you winning this game in five seconds, I made a two possession game. He made a two possession game even though he would have won with one. Ty does it, Tyree Kill. So he'll oh. come out of the end zone, time's gonna run off the clock. There's gonna be no version of him coming back and winning. Monster hit there, and just like that, with one second remaining, we're gonna see one final play. Yeah, this was a this was a definitely a, a slower one, a, a a grinder of a game here. Lots of running from Dog, and uh, not the offensive explosion needed for the bully. Dog messing around in the backfield. You see him just bumping his players into each other. Yep. Oh, oh. Not a, you don't want to end with a sack. Oh. <laughs> and the bully was quieted. Got bullied himself by Dog. Dog earning his way into that championship round no, once again. No, we we've seen it three times out. before. We've seen the same outcome. The question is, it's looking like JC no, is probably going to best Waniac. JC has met Dog in the finals before and not had enough to get it done. The question is, will we see a repeat of history again today, or will we have a new GGL champion for Madden 20? Yeah, that's a big question. But again, Dog looking. Good has a very distinct style. Let's see how it does against uh, both these guys here. Oh, oh, it's a big pass downfield for Waniac though. Yeah, game's not quite over yet. Still, only 14 points, two possessions. He only has two timeouts. Now, Something this could to keep be, an eye on. This would be the comeback of the GGL if Waniac could pull this off. Yeah, a lot of people huddling around Waniac right now, seeing what he does on offense and see if he's able to put something together here. No, still can't run on that seat. Up the middle. <laughs> Up the middle, JC closing that one off. And Waniac has to score soon. Make sure he scores with time on the clock before the two-minute warning. 
So three minutes, 19 seconds. JC needs to score here because he needs to give himself ample time to get the stop, and get possession back. Men of Troy don't give that shit up. Third and goal situation for Waniac. Waniac has to score here. He has to. Yeah, it definitely does here. And JC is making sure if he scores, it's not going to be through the ground. Those two running plays shut down. You know what, JC may be on the Waniac's running plays now. This is good. You know, this is good practice, though. We've seen Snoop stay with the running play a lot today. So JC is getting a pretty good amount of practice. Oh, Waniac going to get in the end zone here. He absolutely needed the score there. Got it. Now the question is, do you got in this situation? Do you go for the two-point conversion? Uh, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. You just go for one hit. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You go for one hit. Two points. Not really worth keep it at a uh, 2017 and uh, 2013 seven-point game. Really, the game. The next step here for Waniac is holding. JC, you don't worry about that second possession or not, because you need to get that ball back no matter what. Two timeouts, 2:46 left. If you hit a line drive, get an extra, get a touchback here. The play clock being 40 seconds, you could possibly force uh, JC here to play two plays before the two-minute warning. It's gonna be close. All right, so. 13.20. Yeah. Two minutes, 42 seconds. You need a big stop. You only got two timeouts. So it really comes down to your defense getting some monster stops. If you're JC, you pretty much want to run as much time off the clock as possible. Yeah, and that's interesting because it, it's been a lot of throwing for him. Patrick Mahomes has been his guy. Not a lot of pass pressure. And there it is. Yet again, stay in bounds. Did he stay in bounds? Big completions, though. And he stayed in bounds. Clock's going to keep rolling there. Going to pick up the first down. They're going to move the chains. Waniac cannot afford to let him keep grabbing these first downs. Mm -hmm. He's got to get a stop. He needs to get possession back, and he needs to score. Yeah, sounds easy enough, but... <laughs> when you're explaining it, sure, it sounds <laughs> super simple. When you got the controller in your hand and you're holding the sticks yourself, it's much more difficult. Oh, good stop there, finally. A little bit of a stop there by Waniac. But again, it was a, it was a run, not a throw. And JC has been just throwing on command, looking like an air raid offense from college. And that puts us to the two minute warning. Two minute warning situation. JC, seven point lead over Waniac. JC with the possession. All three timeouts. You know, the sun's getting pretty low for Waniac right now. Yeah, yeah. He needs a big stop here. A sack or even just an incompletion here is going to go a long way. It is ending up being a uh, pass. Yep, there it is. A lot of time for Mahomes. So much time to throw. Big bomb downfield. That could be an interception. Oh, no. JC puts the icing on the cake, blows out the candles, says, tuck him in. Good night, sweetheart. It's time to go. JC not afraid of the clock at all. You know, you could have tried to run the ball, just get the clock going. No, he goes. No, nah, he went deep. Deep. He went deep. All the way. JC out, yeah. wanted to make a statement, so let's set the stage for you, Degon. Yeah. JC right now on the verge of he basically stamped his ticket into the finals yet again. We've seen JC face off against Snoop in the finals and come up short. Is JC looking for a shot at redemption here? This could be his first time winning a GGL. And it's a grudge match because it's against Snoop, who beat him in the finals in the last GGL. Yeah, I think that's a big opportunity here. It looks like he'll book his ticket right now. But again, Waniac drove down the field, still has two timeouts. Has an has a opportunity to do something here. Digon, I'm gonna say that's a big that's a no for me, dog. That's fine. I think, you know, we've seen it. Just one bad bounce here could go away here for uh, Wania. You need two bad bounces. And, Just you, need, one. and you need terrible uh, terrible possession management by, by JC to lose this game. Again, JC is showing that he's not afraid to throw the ball. Plus, you still have your two timeouts. Once you start using those timeouts, that's when it gets tough. But if he's able to score in two or three plays, it gives him an opportunity here. So we got Elway back thinking about it. Not a lot of time to throw. Big sack coming in. Yeah. You know, I saw that one coming before the before he hiked the ball. Yeah, he's got to throw that quick in, I believe. Quick in and then let his man run. I think that's Harrison. Rodney no. Harrison right there. Quick in. Yeah, that no one's there. 
Yeah. You just can't you can't you can't throw under that kind of pressure. Yeah, right there. Marvin Harrison just going underneath. I think that was the opportunity. The other option is uh just going to toss one deep. Right now it looks like JC is giving one on ones on the outside. I mean with a fourteen point lead with less than a minute and a half remaining. Dion, ninety seconds left. There's not a lot you can do. Not a lot, but he still mathematically has that opportunity. Post right there over the middle. Woo! One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. That's awesome. You can hear JC popping off right now on JC. <laughs> JC giving us a quick lesson in math, counting to five. You know, what I don't like about this play is both receivers run a post, so both safeties come converge. You got four people covering two guys. Got to have a better uh, pattern here for Waniac. So we find a fourth and 17 situation for Waniac. How did you get here? You needed so much and needed and got so little. I think he's using an extra person to stay in the block. Keep an eye on it. There's a lot going on in Waniac's head right now. No. Throw it. That no. sack. No. That no. sack, however, was not. That's the preacher dude. No, it's straight hand. Fuck out of 92. <laughs> the Mike preacher Mike. dude. Mike Mike. Oh, man. Mike. Yeah, I think in that case, poor call there. You're running play action when you're absolutely getting blitzed the whole time. Play action doesn't buy you time when they're not biting at all. You just got to check that one up early. So not only did you turn it over on downs to JC, who's already nursing a 27 to 13 lead, but you put him in prime scoring position with under a minute and 25 seconds yep. remaining. Yep, yep. And that score doesn't even matter all that much right well, now. It, you know, it matters to JC. Yeah. JC's right now trying to send a statement. Snoop Dogg already stamped his ticket to the finals, but JC's trying to say, hey, I know you've beaten me in the finals before, but it's not going to be that easy this time around. Yeah, it's a new game. And uh, right now, JC has looked like the most dominant player in the playoffs right now. Uh, he scored points at will. He's popping off and feeling himself right now. Whereas on the opposite side, uh, Dogg's games have been grinders. He's been in control, but it's been a lot of running. So it'll be two very different styles. Second and 14 situation. JC got dropped in the backfield. You know, I'm, I'm thinking he really wants to put another one on the board. I think JC wants to at least get Wayne Ack in the 30 club. Ooh. Well, it's at his command right now because uh, Wayne Ack's going to call another, uh, another timeout after this play, no matter what happens. Uh, as the clock's rolling. Yep, there it is. Run across the field. Zeke. Again, tackle, timeout. Not quite enough for the first down. Timeout called. Now, Dion. Yeah. A minute 14 remaining. 27 13. Will you finally concede that this one's out of reach for Wayne Oh, yeah. Mathematically, absolutely now. Okay. When you have the two timeouts, that's so much time that you save. But, you know, three sacks out of four plays, that's not going to get it done. Oh. 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 JC just oh. sending Wayne to the 30 club. He said, hey, guess what? It is open on Thursday. <laughs> you can see him in his player cam. He's humming himself right oh, now. He's, he's feeling it right now. But the celebration will be short-lived because JC's going to have to focus because JC is going to find Snoop Dogg in the finals, which means it will be a repeat of history if he takes this kind of attitude, this kind of nonchalant attitude into the match against Snoop Dogg. Or maybe that's what he needs. He's he needs to have that kind of uh, attitude to stay loose. I think a lot of the times when you're playing against the big boss and they've won over and over and over again, you get a little tight. You get the pressure gets to you. He's he's staying he's staying loose right now. He's staying loose right okay. now. Okay. All right. Minute and nine seconds. Somehow this this last minute and forty five seconds is taking about thirty five minutes for these two. No. Oh. oh, almost almost a safety there. He needs to throw the ball. I'm, I'm, I'm getting so stressed out with Wayne right now. He needs to throw the ball so much faster. Almost a safety. You know, because he thought he had so much time there in the pocket. And he's losing sight of the defenders when they're coming. Has he, has he thought that the last four out of the five plays that he's gotten sacked? Like, it's a running back swing. Running back swing, throw a screen, any of those things right now. And now he's going to try to run out of the end zone. This is a safety waiting to happen. Yeah, this is, this is not a good play. This is a safety waiting to happen. There you go, Gurley. Oh, look at that. Gurley got a yard there. You know, he, got, he gets out, but, you know, that could have gone bad very quickly. It's third and 15. <laughs> <laughs> You don't even you know. have 15 yards behind 30 you. 30-15. <laughs>
You have nowhere you can drop back. You're taking the snap on your one. Oh my gosh. So Waniac here. Go get him. 23 seconds remaining. Waniac at this point really just doesn't want to get sacked in the end zone. Yeah. Oh. Able to oh, get yeah. It makes okay. his way out to the six, yep. seven. Clock's going to keep running. Waniac calls a quick play. It's a rematch. JC, dabbing everybody up, has one more play. JC so. already left the sticks. <laughs> and that's not going to change the outcome of this matchup. <laughs> Got to give it up to Waniac, though. Waniac played with heart. We saw a very impressive, very new Waniac. Waniac has gone further in this tournament than he's gone in the past few GGL tournaments. Yeah, but it's not enough. JC coming back for our rematch of GGL 4 here in GGL 5. It's going to be Dog Elroy up against JC. And JC feeling it, man. He's had the biggest win. That's the biggest win today. You know what, Dion? I've had my heart broken so many times watching JC go through these brackets, <laughs> watching JC make his way to the finals, watching JC be so confident, be in the lead, and then it all going away. Yeah. Uh, that seems to be what the story has been, but today's a new day. You know, we got a couple people in the chat believing in him. It looks like Nikki, the Nikki 92 thinking JC's going to bring this one home. JC, the chat thinking JC's going to get the first upset. This would be the first time Snoop Dogg has not won a GGL Madden tournament. <coughs> Question is, will this be the first time JC wins a Madden tournament? You know, I... I don't know. I mean, he's looking good. Again, he's in form. He's feeling it. Once he gets ahead, doesn't relinquish the lead here. And again, Waniac was a defensive player. He, he made it in after that uh, quarterfinals round based off of defense. Big shutdown there. So but we checking, need to see some offense. Checking in on that bracket, of course, we have. Uh, what led us to the finals? Let's go over that road. Let's, yeah. let's, let's take that road trip back down to what took us to this finals. We start off with Trip Loke and Sean. Now, that game? That was a fun game. It was a fun game to watch. It was. Wasn't the blowout that we thought it would be, no. but still a productive game. Sean makes his way out of that. On the other side of things, we had Shelton versus Red Woods. And after an early start from Red Woods, just not enough to get it done against Shelton. Shelton able to get there and get it done. Yeah, Red Woods going to have to look to GTL 6 to get his first win in the Madden tournament. Oh, man. It's going to be rough for, <laughs> for, rough for Red Woods. Then let's slide over to the other side. We got Lala versus Young Sag. Well, you know, it started off rough for Young Sag. Young Sag started off 0-13. Versus Lala. Did not look good for young Sag. Looked pretty grim. And then somehow Sag battled back, got the win, and moved on to the final four. Then head over to that match with Elroy and Sean. Mm. What happened there, Dion? Yeah, Elroy and Sean going back and forth. Big running game set up by Elroy, and that's what took the victory. Big fumble in that first possession, I believe, for Sean that gave the big advantage over to Elroy to keep running the ball. And, of course, we slide over to the other side of the bracket. We had J.C. versus Shelton. J.C. versus Shelton. Now, you know, we said we said Shelton was really feeling it. You know, Coach Shelton had the plays, had the things going on. But J.C. just somehow was able to pull it out. Had Shelton's number today. Yeah, he did. And, unfortunately, his road ended early. Someone who didn't, though, was Elroy here. Another victory. Feeling it all the way over through. Some tough-ass matches. Man. You have. You have. dog fights, man. Making it to the final the finals yet again. So this is the fourth consecutive final appearance for Snoop Dogg. Dogg, uh, you know, you start off saying anyone can have a chance to win. And, and it's, uh, still, it's still like that. Yeah. It's just run game versus pass game, you know what I mean? And, now, and that's what we've seen. We've seen you with a lot of – that's very different than what we saw from the, uh, the Elroy Winnington mm -hmm. of Madden 19. Yeah, that pass game. Who was going to the air. Now we've seen a lot of ground game. And we've seen JC is effectively – Shut down the ground game so mm -hmm. much so that he will be facing off against you in these finals. How do you feel about that? Hey man, I feel real good about it. You know, I just called Vegas and got the odds. I tell you later. Ooh, <laughs> inside. That inside just in the odds <laughs> in in Vegas, of course, for making it to the final two. Both of those players are going to receive two hundred dollars. That is an amazing prize. Two hundred dollars plus that gift certificate for one hundred dollars. You know, and beyond that. Yeah. Way more important. Let's skip skip that. Yeah. The winner of this matchup, the grudge match we've been waiting for, Snoop Dogg versus JC. The what winner going to walk away with $5,000 cash. Five Gs. And two $100 gift certificates. Not too bad for a money match on a Thursday. No, you know, a Thursday afternoon of playing Madden, walk home with uh, $5,200. You know, actually, you know what? 
Fifty. You, you're gonna get. You get two. You get a hundred dollars. No, two hundred dollars and a hundred dollar gift card for making it to the finals. His dog's like, where is it? I need my money. <laughs> so we'll get we'll get dog back at the booth. We'll deliver his uh, his finals winnings to dog. Also, we'll get JC. Wherever J JC's taking a moment. JC's taking a moment of prayer right now. Yeah, that's what he's this is this is a, this is a big moment. Trying to get JC. that monkey off his back. Yeah, you know, he's been here before. He's seen what can happen, and uh, he doesn't want history to repeat itself. No, he doesn't. He he definitely wants to walk away with a win here. You know, for for fifty two hundred, I don't think you're walking away. I think you can order an Uber. Yeah, wow. capable of it too. He's looked good. He's definitely looked good. He's put up points, but like Doc said, it's going to be run against pass here. And uh, if uh, he falls behind early, it will be interested to see if Dog adapts back to his Madden 19 style of throwing the ball around. Gotcha. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the GGL number five little Madden 20 tournament action going down. Thank you so much for joining us on Mixer.com slash Noob Dog. Those of you that are watching on YouTube, appreciate you guys hanging out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're having a great time with you guys. Also, shout out to everybody in the chat right now. Holding down the chat. GG's in the chat. Mm -hmm. We see them all over there. Such a great time hanging out in all these GGL events. We'll be back with the presentation of the finals award money and then followed swiftly by the final match, JC versus Snoop Dogg. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. GGL number five. You are in store for a big finals rematch. We have our championship round coming up. But first, the two players that made it to the finals. That's right. For the second time, back to back, we got JC versus Big Snoop Dogg. The finals going to go down. But first, the winners making it to the finals, each receiving $200 plus I need that. a $100 gift certificate. Mm, that is a feel it. That feel is a lot of feel it. Feel that card more yeah. 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 That's a lot of That's a lot of Madden players you're buying. That's a lot of packs that you're buying. Guys, yes. so we've seen this matchup before. We've seen the outcome of the matchup before. JC, what's going to go different this time? Well, I don't know. We're going to see. I just, just coming out here, not, you know, taking this lightly. This is Elroy Denard Jetson, man. Last time we played in the finals, I think uh, he ended my season with a donut, man. I've been <laughs> thinking about that sour taste in my mouth ever since. You know, you we've only so? seen one donut so far today, and that went to Red Grant. And I'm trying to make it two. <laughs> so, fortunately, we, maybe we won't see that. Now, JC, you are the only person standing in the way. Let's remind everyone. So what's happened before? If we take a trip down memory road of GGL events. GGL number one started off with Madden 19. Snoop Dogg came away with a win there. Some people said, you know, maybe he didn't earn it. He started off late in that turn. They did? Yeah, they, they, did. they said that. So Dogg said, you know that. what? For GGL number two, we switched things up. We played a little Mortal Kombat. But for GGL number three, we came back to Mad 19, and Dogg started the beginning of the tournament with everyone else. Worked Ooh. his way through the tournament and won GGL number three. Yeah, After did. that, we saw a back-to-back -back win as he became the champion once again for GGL number four. You guys may be familiar with that crying Snoop meme crying that went Snoop. around <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> the three trophies, Vanilla the crying. Candle, yeah. saw it all. Oh, he had it all there. <laughs> now, we find ourselves GGL number five, the very first time we're playing Madden 20 here at the compound here in Inglewood. Yes. The question is, can JC put an end to the streak, or will Snoop Dogg become the first and only four-time back-to-back-to-back to back champion? Activate. <laughs> That matchup coming up next, JC versus Snoop Dogg. Good luck, fellas. May the best man win. Guys, we are here at the GGL. Thanks for tuning in. Shout out to all the homies watching this at the house right now. Y'all yes. know what time it is. Taylor Gang, what's happening? Y'all know what up? What up, dog? Little <laughs> Chef. Guys, when we good. come back, this yeah, matchup will be underway. Man. Welcome back, guys, to GGL number five. My name's Hollywood. Been around the Gamer Tech Stuntman Gene, hanging out with my boy D Gun. World famous commentator for world famous riot. And, I mean, <laughs> by the time you fly internationally to commentate, man, that's world. This right? is true. This, this is, is true. this is true. You are correct. Uh, former People professional soccer player, yeah. now yeah. professional commentator. That's me. We got a lot. We got a lot going on. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I appreciate you hitting all these things for me. Trying right? to hit. Trying to hit the points. Speaking of hitting those points, yo, big shout out to Blue River Terps. Appreciate you guys coming through in a big way. Major sponsors of the GGL. Also, our friends over there at Lighter Leash, our friends at Daily High Club, and Supreme Seats. Yep. Also, Lucid Sound, the official gaming headset of the GGL. Shout out to Boss Lady Entertainment for holding us down. Let us use the compound here in Inglewood. Yep. And, of course, shout out to my man, Degon. Make sure you go follow him at Degon. 
on uh, is it Dgon on Twitter? Yep. D on Instagram, right? Nice and easy. Yeah, and of course, make sure to check out Lambo Fit on YouTube. Why should we check that one out, Hollywood? No, it's my YouTube channel. That is your YouTube. Documenting channel. my journey of me going from being uber fat to Lambo Fit. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Is that, is that what it is? That's yeah. the tagline? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I started the channel at 402 pounds 58 days ago, and now I'm 355 pounds. All right, man. So. As many uh, pounds as days, dog. That's yeah, what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on it. So, guys, we are hanging out here. GGL number five. Let's go over the bracket one more time to see what brought us to this point if you're just joining us. First up, Trip Loke versus Sean. Sean's gonna move on there. On the other side, we had Shelton versus Redwood. Shelton able to get out of that first round. Redwood's not able to get his first victory. Then finally, in the quarterfinals, Waniac taking on Red Grant, giving out our first and only donut of the day. 13 to zero was that game. Opposite side, Lala and Young Sag, the bully. The bully went down early against Lala, was able to come back and get himself a come from behind victory. Then we got to look at our winner's bracket. We had Elroy going against Sean. Elroy, of course, got that win versus Sean. You know, it was a tough game for him, though. It wasn't as easy as we thought it'd be. And then on the other side of things, we had Coach Shelton versus JC. Many people thought Shelton was going to be the one moving on. Yep. You know, given his history, given his coaching ability. But JC just finds a way to win. And somehow JC was able to squeak his way into that final four. Leaving our final four set up as Elroy versus Young Sag and then Waniac versus JC. Yeah, and Elroy. Roy against Young Sag. It was close at first, but a big, big ground game. You know, Dog was saying earlier how each player has their own strategy. Well, he made that one very clear. It was run after run after run, and he wore down Young Sag. The bully got bullied with Smash Mouth football. And then on the other side of that bracket, we had Waniac versus JC. I was so happy to see Waniac make it to a Final Four situation. Not often do you see that. Often in the GTL events, he's been knocked out early, but we've seen a different Waniac so far. It was a good battle, but unfortunately for Waniac, JC just had too much hand on the throttle and got it done against JC and in stylish fashion when it came down to the end. Yeah, a lot through the air here and that's going to be the tale of this matchup. Elroy smash mouth run game football trying to defend his crown for the third Madden tournament in a row against JC's air attack followed by, uh, led by Patrick Mahomes. It's just been all day to throw the ball here for him. Now that's, you know, that's the tale of these two quarterbacks. We're yep. seeing JC is going with Mahomes. We're seeing right now Dog going with Luck. Mm -hmm. Now you know, dog. In Madden 19, we saw a lot of airplay. Yep. We saw a dog go into the air. He dropped back. He used Vic. Stay. You know, the field is your oyster if you're Vic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You bomb it downfield. You know, you find the open man. You're good to go. But we've seen a different play out of Dog so far. He's going with three very big running backs. Yeah, he's going with Bo Jackson, Marcus Allen, and Todd Gurley, and it's just been a nonstop running attack. If he does have to throw, having a high awareness quarterback like uh, Andrew Luck helps with those passes under duress, and we've seen it. He rolls out to the outside, buys time, moves his player somewhere else, and then is able to throw it off. So, again, no one's really pressured him in terms of pass pressure. I'm excited to see JC's able to do that. All right, so, Degon, pre-game predictions. It all comes down to this. It's JC versus Snoop Dogg. We've seen the matches leading to this point. We've seen what they both had to go through. But now, where's your money going? I think, you know, you got to go with uh, the guy on top until the champ has been beaten. You keep sick, you keep betting on them, right? You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Dog won the last tournament in this matchup itself. I think he's reinvented himself in terms of how he wants to play through the run game and a stout defense. I think he gets the win here. You know, as much as I agree with you and think that, you know, you got to stick with the home team, especially here at the compound. Uh -oh. I think J.C.'s uh -oh. got new fire in him. I think J.C.'s oh, yeah? got fire in his belly. We've seen this before. Now, here's the thing, Degon. Yeah. I have been let down by J.C. before. <laughs> I have been I have been so excited and then JC has let me down. But I feel like today, I feel a new fire in JC's belly as he wants to be the guy that stops Snoop from going four in a row. Yeah, he does. And uh, things have gotten underway here as uh, we finally have our finals matchup. Super exciting. JC and Dog in the finals. 
JC, very casual approach right now. You see he's leaning back, he's comfortable. Matchup just starting, only three seconds have ticked off the clock so far. The question is, how long will we see JC in this posture before JC tenses up? Yeah, I don't like this posture at all here for JC. He got here being hype, he got here off of big plays. For him to all of a sudden change up how he's been doing things, uh, I guess we'll see here on offense. He's gonna pass the outside, oh. gonna beat his man there, picking up the first down. And then Patrick Mahomes out wide, Antonio Brown. It's interesting as to we're early in the Madden Ultimate Team. You're picking your players, right? You're picking your rosters based off of the cards that you have and, and possibly salary cap as well. And where players decide to invest. And right now you can tell it's all pass game here for JC. 